Hello, this is question number 49 from the end of the chapter questions from chapter 6 of Walker Physics 4th edition. We've got a connected blocks problem here. You have 7.7 .7 newtons pulling horizontally on a 1.6 kilogram block. The block is connected horizontally to a second mass of 0.83. So we've got two boxes here, two blocks. One is 1.6 kilograms connected to 0.83 kilograms. And then I have a force on that of 7.7 .7 newtons. Okay. First question says, what's the acceleration of the blocks? Okay. Well, that I think we can do. F equals MA is the only thing I know to go back to. My force is 7.7. .7 my mass has to be the whole mass, okay? It'll have to be the whole mass. So, what is that? 2.43 A. Now solve for A, 7.7 .7 divided by 2.43. So A equals 3.17 meters per second squared. Okay, so this is part A. Part B says, what's the tension in the string? Okay, so the tension in the string. Well, I'm only interested in here. All right, I'm only interested in here because this is the string. So the only mass I'm interested in is this. So again, so here's the B part. We've got F equals MA. But this time, the, we're only concerned with this because I'm pulling this with the tension. The tension in that string is pulling one block. Okay, so I've got 0.83 times 3.17 is my acceleration. So, 2.63. 2.63 newtons. That's the tension in this in this. All right, so what's the last question? If the mass of block one is increased, does the tension in the string increase, decrease, or stay the same? Okay, so if I, block one is this one. So if this one gets bigger, does this tension change or not change or go down? Okay. Hmm. Well, same force, bigger mass. So I'm using more of the force just to play with this mass. My first guess is that this one will go down. If this goes up, I'm using more of the same force to play with this mass and this. I'm not sure. Let's, let's do it a different way. Let's do it this way. The only thing I know is this, F equals MA. Okay, I've got a force here. I've got a mass here. Um, and this mass is taking away some of this force on this. So let's do it this way. If the mass, if this guy's mass goes up, what happens to this guy's acceleration? Do you see that this is an inverse relationship? If this goes up, and we're only talking here for a moment, if this goes up, what happens to A? A is going to go down. Okay, or even if you want to talk about the whole system, if the entire mass goes up, and it would, if I add one to here, I'm adding it to both. Not each, but the whole thing. I'm adding one to the whole thing. So the whole mass goes up. Well, that means that the whole acceleration goes down. All right, because that's an inverse relationship. How are these two guys related? How is acceleration related to force? As acceleration goes down, and on the other side of the equal sign, the force would go down. So I would say that, that it decreases. That's our C, decreases. Okay, thank you.